God, they just never leave me alone, do they? So here we have someone who, this was a while ago when they slipped through the cracks, but I am definitely highlighting them because I saw their old comments I replied and they doubled down again because this is all these people know how to do. They're blackjack players. They only double down. Never say, I'm sorry, I was being out of line. No, double down, double down, double down, double down, double down. God, it gets so old. It really gets old. And today, <laughs> we have a real treat. Someone who claims to be on the autism spectrum and should know as much as me how much it sucks to be othered, excluded, ganged up on, because they lived it, right? They should know better than anyone how much it sucks. Yeah, no. This guy is going to be the worst of the worst. Maybe not 100%, but he's bad. He's like a 9.5 out of 10 on the asshole scale. So let's get to it. This guy is Chad D. Bach, Kanye's version. I post a video talking about how I do not like when people gang up on me on different groups like Reddit, whatnot. And, you, and this guy comments, and you think, oh, well, he's on the spectrum. He should show compassion, sympathy, because he know, should know what it's like to be othered by other people. No, 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 no. He leads in immediately. Average Reddit user. You could tell me this is satire, and I would believe it. Clearly someone who's never gotten a nice little bop on the nose for making an out-of-line remark. I'll tell you that, because, like, you try that in real life and see how well that goes off. Not just with me, with anyone. I would say it to a biker. Say it, See how they like it. <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I call him out and say he's a sociopath. Because, again, it's not the first time he's commented something very rude and insensitive and just out of line. It's like, read the room, kid. You uploaded a seven-minute video complaining about your comments getting just like, humans have this thing called pattern recognition. Well, why don't you recognize the pattern of you being an asshole in the comments? But I digress. If your comments continue to just get just like, maybe there's a good reason for that. Yeah, people on Reddit suck. They're assholes, uh, assholes, and the way that they take sick enjoyment out of doing it just proves that I'm right on that one. But... You know, you can't, you guys can never admit I'm right. People can never admit that I'm right and that I'm the victim. They just can't admit that maybe they were wrong about their first impression. They have to double down. Um, he does say one valid thing. It would be interesting if you could make a video showcasing the comment question that drove you to create this video. Well, again, it's not just one comment, is it? It's multiple comments, multiple groups, over a course of time, and me just saying enough. How many times this has to happen to me? I'm tired of being made to feel like this by other people. I'm not some troll. I'm just going to appreciate how up and arms you're about negative feedback. Negative feedback? This isn't negative feedback, buddy. The way these people antagonize me, call me man-child, basically double down, mock me, this is hate at that point. That's not criticism. Nor is what you're doing. You are you go out of your way to attack someone on their video in their dojo and then get surprised Pikachu face when they lash back. I mean, I'm sure you'd love it if someone came into your house and tried to smack you in the face, right? You wouldn't do anything to retaliate or anything, right? Get a grip, buddy. It puts the rest of the nerds of virgin community such as myself in a bad light. You put yourself in a bad light. I hold myself in contempt. Why should you be any different? Seriously. You're, you're disgusting. You should know better than anyone what it's like to be othered, what it's like to be ostracized, ganged up on, shut out, treated like garbage because you're different and view the world a different way. And instead, here you are showing zero sympathy, joining the lynch mob for what? Do you think that they're going to die simping for them and siding with them irrationally? That's why I call it simping. They're going to freaking pat you on the back and invite you to their house to play or something. What do you think you're going to get out of this? They, they just as soon do it to you as to me. So why are you siding with them? Uh, and why are you assuming, again, that clearly it must be my fault? Again, and I call him out. I say, I love when people who are part of the community don't empathize, even though they've lived it. Uh, my, mention multiple comments. State that it's because people are awful and they double down when I push back against their crap because I've had enough. Uh, you'd think at this point this guy would renege and say, you know, okay, you know what, you're right. I probably was a little bit too... Uh, eager to get in the fight. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know those. You know, doubles down again. You understand the internet works. People won't speak their mind due to nominating and lack of repercussions. Fighting is pointless. Well, I'm going to try anyways. And it would help a lot of people like you would stop getting in the way and start backing me up when you are probably affected by it just as much. You have a vested interest. Why are you acting like a fool? I call him out for that. Yeah. People like you are exactly why this persists. And I, it's also why I hate the autism community. You take a situation where you should be showing sympathy and use it to put me down. It's disgusting. I mentioned how not once has he tried to see my side, showed me any support, realized I've been through enough. It, it, every time he's been doubling down. Over multiple videos, he's been doing this. 
I call him out. This exact same awful behavior that made me leave the Brony fandom in multiple Discord groups because no one would listen. And when I said I deserve better than this, people always made lame excuses and tried to say, well, we're so busy we can't reply, except they would reply to other people's comments. So clearly that's a lie. And I say, you double down on things that you know bother me, like petulant little children. And this is exactly why people say the autism community doesn't have empathy. It's people like you who make fools of us. Take a good look in a mirror and do better, I conclude. Suck it out or live forever, my guy. It's up to you. Live full of hate forever. You know what? I could live full of a lot less hate if people like you would not, would stop attacking me. But you don't acknowledge your role, right? You don't acknowledge how messed up you are, how wrong it was of you to attack me. Uh, and let's let's move on to his next comment. You haven't either, and I never attacked you. Um, what was his first comment again? What was his first comment? Leads in with average Reddit user. You could tell me this is satire, and I would believe it. That is an attack, dumb fuck. Fucking what? Stop trying to gaslight me, okay? I don't like gaslighters. Stop victimizing yourself. I am the victim. I'm the one who's being attacked by you and others. And I'm trying to vent about it. And I get even more hate. I think I am the victim here. I think we've established that's what a victim is. I'm tired of you victim-blaming fucks doing this. Stop victimizing yourself and actually debate instead of these narcissistic replies. You're the narcissist. Not once have you shown me empathy. Not once have you done anything that I would consider redeeming qualities uh, I call. I say he should be made an example out of because I'm just tired of people doing this. You know, basically just saying back off enough. I don't know. Probably shouldn't say that, but I've had it with people like this. You think everyone is attacking you? There's no point in continuing two month old pointless argument. Yeah, you are pointless, aren't you? And uh, yeah, you are attacking me. People are attacking me. I post differing opinions in Reddit. I get vote bombed. I post videos on here trying to do autism advocacy. People like you come out of the woodwork and put me down for no damn reason. So, zero empathy, zero sympathy, and basically act as terrible as the people I'm talking about in the video. Those are attacks. And I'm tired of you trying to rug sweep and act like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I told him to apologize. I didn't attack you. And also you calling me average Redditors on an obvious venting video not attacking as if maybe i should criticize you when you have make a video about a rough day and see how you like it you know trying to freaking plead to some semblance of humanity doubles down again you're in a rough day because people said mean things to you stop putting other dictate life go fuck yourself god i hate people like this it's always my fault it's never anyone else's fault it's always mine you can't contemplate that you were wrong so you have to keep doubling down to try and fool yourself into thinking you're right and trying to gaslight me Nice deflection, pal. Failing to see your role in this. You're the narcissist. Yeah, exactly. You're the narcissist. Takes one to know one, as they say. You vent video, not a vent video. It's a man child. Yeah, again, not attacking. Calls me man child, but I'm not attacking you. About his feelings being hurt by someone else. No sugarcoating it. That is what people are thinking when they see this. If people are that bad that they're thinking this, they're the problem, not me. I mean, really, I, whining? How am I whining when I'm just venting and talking about what I deal with? I'm not... <laughs> and even if I was, why is that an excuse to disregard what I say? God, I'm tired of you simping for awful people and acting like I'm bad for not just accepting the world the way it is. You know, could you imagine how bad the world would be if people told that to Martin Luther King and he listened? Or if they told that to the women's suffrage people and they listened? No. Sometimes you have to fight. And I say, he, I end with saying, you asked for it. You're a disgrace to the autism community and represent everything wrong with it. Learn some manners, kid. Yeah, that's why I'm making this video. Uh, Con Chad Debot, go fuck yourself. I'm so tired of people like you thinking that you're all that and that you can mouth off to me and come onto my video and then trying to act all innocent when you get, when you get some heat for it. Oh, I didn't attack you. I sure I called you a freaking average Redditor leading in on a venting video, but everyone has their flaws, am I right? You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Or, or a manipulative narcissist. Maybe both. Very clearly, there's something wrong with you that you're not seeing the world the way it is. And I'm tired of you acting like a saint who, I don't do anything wrong. I'm perfect. You must be the victim. Oh, what? You provided logic to show why I'm wrong? Well, I'm going to double down anyways because I can't admit I'm wrong. You're, someone on Reddit put it well. You're a country and it must be right at all costs. So you keep doubling down even when you're call, proven to be wrong. And that's exactly why people like me don't open up about what we're dealing with, because of assholes like you. Fucking do better.